My 16-month-old son loves his Pazzi. He cannot live without it. He uses his Pazzi to go to sleep for a long drive, and when we see a meltdown coming on, we stick it in. He's good to go. I'm afraid if I take the pacifier away, he'll start sucking his thumb. So what's worse, the pacifier or sucking the thumb? Undoubtedly, millions of parents can relate to that question. We have Catalina here with her beautiful son, Patrick. <laughs> what's going on, Patrick? Hey, Patrick. <laughs> Look what's in his mouth. Yeah, look what's in his mouth. So I think he's already made a decision. Yeah. This, is a, this is a great question, though, because a lot of parents wonder, you know, which is worse, I think it's which, which is better, the thumb or the pacifier, because neither of them are bad when they're this age. Because, you know, babies and young toddlers, they need to suck. It's kind of a, it helps soothe them, it helps calm them, and it's a good thing. But I'm glad you're thinking about this, even though he is young, because the longer they do suck, when they, if they get towards three and four, it can start to cause tooth problems and jaw problems. So it can pull the front teeth out and kind of misshape the front teeth, but it gets, there's more than that. It's actually, the sucking motion draws in the cheeks, and that actually can lead to other uh, bite problems too. So we don't want to let kids suck really beyond age four if we can help it. But let's, let's answer the question, which is worse? If we had to choose between thumb or pacifier, I say the thumb. And why? Because it's kind of hard to get rid of this. You know, if they're, if they're glued to the pacifier, it's easy to kind of lose it. Oh, we lost it, it's gone. You know, whereas the thumb, it's always there, okay? <laughs> so um, a, a few suggestions for, for this age is uh, since he's using it all the time, maybe try to just uh, limit it to just when he's sleeping or something like that. And maybe during the day, try other things like hugs, back rubs, a little song to kind of help soothe him because he's eventually going to need to use other ways of soothing himself other than the pacifier. But let's say, you said four years is a good age. So let's yeah. say your child's beyond four years and it's all day long. <laughs> yeah, suck it on the thumb. What do you do? <clears throat> yeah, right, the older child. Now, one of the worst things you can do is to ask him to stop, stop sucking his thumb because that, all that's gonna do is, is make him think it's a problem and he's gonna get stressed out about it and he's gonna wanna continue, whether it's the pacifier or the thumb. At that age, oftentimes embarrassment just on his own side, you know, he'll suddenly realize none of his classmates are sucking their thumb, so he'll just stop, or he starts getting teased about it. All right, um, you also wanna think about using positive rewards for not doing it. You never wanna punish a child for doing something that's just natural to him. So there's no negative consequences for sucking his thumb or using the pacifier. Now, you mentioned um, blankets and other toys. A lot of kids, uh, every time they hold their blanket, they wanna suck their thumb. So if we get rid of the blanket, or that particular stuffed animal, you might then break that habit, all right? So we wanna get rid of those. Also, a lot of parents will use maybe a Band-Aid around the, the thumb. I actually don't like that. Now this is why, you know when you guys put a, on a Band-Aid, the skin around it kinda of turns macerated. white and macerated and moist, and that's just after a couple of days. But if you're using a Band-Aid to get rid of a, the thumb sucking, it's gonna be on there for weeks at a time, and that can really damage the skin. I've actually had a patient damage their thumbnail so severely that they lost the nail permanently. So that child does not have a thumbnail ever, ever again. So no Band-Aid. What I do like is those bitter coatings that that's you can put on the nail. That's what I was just about to ask you. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, or one of them is called thumb. Mm -hmm. And that's just kind of a little reminder. They put it in, yep, they get it, oh yeah, yucky. You know, so that's a, that's a good way. Also, if it's the pacifier you're trying to get rid of, um, when they're old enough to understand, you take it to the toy store and you use this to buy a toy. You basically are trading this in. You know, and you, get, you go up to the cash That's register really and say, okay, we're getting the little, the, whatever, the car or the doll, and here, and the, the uh, child can give the pacifier to the cashier, and out they walk with a toy. Pretty cool. Right. Yeah, right. That is smart. Yeah. Stuff. Well, thank you so uh, much, Kelly. And Patrick, thanks for coming today. We appreciate it.